Well, hello, glue troopers, and uh, tonight I finished up the Death Star and got it hung up. And it's funny when I, I was just going to go in and hang it up and start working on something else. And no sooner had I got on my lap and got the wire attached to the top that I was thinking, you know, if I was just to mix a little acrylic gray, a couple of different shades, and touch up here, and next thing you know, touch up here, touch up there, and I'm back at it. But this time it was all just hand painting, mixing up a bunch of different colors, having a good time, using some of the uh, panel accent line and super thinning some of the gray to see if I could get it to capillary through some of those since it has such a deep groove pattern in it and just trying to spruce it up a little bit and it, just having a good time. I wasn't taking it too seriously because, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And But I was having a great time and wound up spending probably an hour or two just Mixing a little paint, trying different little things here and there, and just having a grand old time. And again, once I hung it up and stood back, like, you know, from a distance, I'm like, you know, you know it certainly doesn't look identical to the one in the movie, but hey, you know, it looks all right. And when I'm just in the Tarbis, it's out the corner of my eye. It looks like what it's supposed to look like. So, you know, uh, okay. And uh, <laughs> like, okay, you know, glad I stuck with it. I'm good. And up she goes. And uh, you ever notice how much the... This thing from a certain angle kind of reminds you of the Discovery from 2001. But anyway, um, I didn't have any X-Wings to put after it, so I've got the uh, Navy attacking it. You know, Devastators and Avengers attacking the Death Star. Now that would make a cool video. So I took the time to clean up my work area, and I've been using this old blue work mat for so many years. I may predate the Tarvis. And it's got so much glue and paint on it that even with the clean sheet of paper over it, it's so lumpy that I decided to uh, put it aside and get a new uh, project board and wrap that in paper and start over. And, you know, I couldn't, I didn't have the heart to throw it away. God, I tell you what, I, just, I got, a, got to learn to throw stuff away. And I probably will uh, when the big change comes in a few months, which I'll talk about later. But anyway, uh, I'm still having a little trouble in the Tarvis with stuff... Uh, falling out of the ceiling and just, just some, I think what happened was uh, a tree branch had grown into the vent at one point. It left enough deposit in there that there's enough crap up there still growing and dying that sometimes it leaks down on, onto the models. And anyway, so I keep cleaning up the desk and cleaning up the work area. And I decided to go ahead and build this Thunderbird too. I it didn't have a decal sheet that I could find, but it did have instructions. It had the little cartoon girl in the corner reminded me of those old army uh, preventive maintenance uh, booklets they used to give us that always had artwork of some incredibly hot girl telling you how to clean your rifle or something because they knew how to get a GI's attention. <laughs> uh, one thing about this uh, kit, it's an EMI kit, and the instruction sheet doesn't show every single thing you do. It makes some assumptions, like in some pictures it shows things already assembled. Now they're really simple. Doesn't take long to figure it out, but just be forewarned. And the kit was exactly what I expected it to be. Although the tail section, the engine section, and the tail took a lot more pressure to hold together than I expected. Overall, everything fit without too much argument. But uh, that uh, one area in the tail just took a lot of clamps to to keep the the seal until the glue hardened. And of course, it's got the removable center section, and those are retractable landing gears. So. Got that all done, and that was all pretty straightforward. Uh, since I don't have any decals, I'll probably make some kind of fantasy build. I think, I think it was Orange Tabby did his like as a, a Royal Canadian like air rescue or something. <laughs> so I might do something like that. Have some fun with it. Now it came with some metal parts. These are axles for the little vehicles, and overall they're not too hard to get in. But the front wheel on that little snowplow looking thing. That was tricky because that's actually four parts. And uh, the only time, pretty much the only time parts at the floor is when I was trying to put that together. And I was working over the center of the table, but you know, ping. fortunately they're bright red and yellow, pretty easy to find. But uh, you have to put the two outer halves over the metal axle, which goes to the tire and then glue it into place. And I wound up having to use a little bit of tack uh, on a, a stick to uh, get the axle in place because it's just so tiny. And uh, anyway, so uh, put the rest of the vehicles together. This, this hydraulic press lifter thing has these 
hoses and cables that you have to kind of pre-bend but it all went together and i uh, got it all up on the shelf now i mean i still have to paint it and everything but uh basically the, the build is done i might do a little touch up on it but this is a fun build it made a great day build so it's up on the shelf now and yes i consider doing a stop motion with them but only so many hours in the day so uh and i made sure this time to clean up after myself so when i was done this is my desk when i was done so you know uh be ready to hopefully do something tomorrow and i mentioned big changes coming so uh i'm not going to give any details right now because everything's still on flux but between recurrent training uh getting my medical renewed uh, probably airbus training next year and some other major changes that may be happening here there's probably going to be a slowdown in uh, the videos and everything maybe the live streams for a while later in the year i, uh, I everything's still in flux so i don't want to go talking about what's going on yet because that could all change but once everything gets stabilized hopefully the channel will be even bigger and better um, and i'll leave that at that so uh I did call Andy over, or called Andy's Hobby Headquarters, but uh, he wasn't there, and uh, he's, you know, the man's busy running a business, so I hope to hear back from him. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to get up with him in time to make the live stream or what his schedule is, or maybe we'll just do an interview, but I haven't forgotten about that. And, uh, you know, a lot of irons in the fire, and I'll be going back to work soon, so I have to, you know, towards the end of the month, and just stuff. You know, life has a way of getting in the way of model building, but uh, I guess that's what makes it special is that precious time you have working with the styrene well guys that's what i've got for tonight uh, this thunderbird 2 kit was a fun build it was a day build i'll paint it later and uh no real arguments with it and uh i want to thank the glue trooper that sent that to me i'll uh i'll have it dolled up in time for the sci-fi build well guys take care of yourselves hope you're having a wonderful evening and as always model on